Uh, I started out using, uh, as mentioned, old rock and roll flyers, things that I just had copies of. Generally, they were shows I promoted and created the flyers because copyright's a big issue in everything that I'm doing here. Mm -hmm. Like I mentioned that I started out just kind of co-opting mm -hmm. my old rock and roll flyers, and so this was an old second story flyer from when I used to, to run that. That was a band I managed. Uh, the Handsome Family and Andrew Bird. I'd had them in town ten years ago, and Andrew, uh, the Handsome Family came back through town recently. So I turned their old flyer, signed flyer, into a puzzle for them and gave it to them. And then you have to sand every single piece individually. Okay. Uh, and then you seal the back and wax it, and um, and then reseal the front. So it, it's it's a tough question. It mm -hmm. might take seven to ten days. Something like this might have nine hours into it, which makes it really problematic to sell. <laughs> it's really just uh, after a while, you just start getting a feel for things, and uh, you just kind of do it. It's helpful to complete a puzzle at the time you start it, because you keep the same cutting style. This is a puzzle I was just playing around with. And it's been around for the last couple months, just sitting up there. I pulled it out because it was kind of started. But you see I've got these curly Q shapes that are real angular and kind of points to it. But since I started today, they've turned into real kind of bulbous type. The thing that can go wrong is if you're trying to get a piece, a puzzle that uh, is really interlocking, and you don't make this cut right, basically the neck has to be a lot thinner than the bulb up top or else it doesn't lock together.